Adding a whole egg to your drink might sound a little bit strange, but I promise the creamy and luxurious texture is well worth it. And you can kind of pretend it's almost healthy, like a protein shake. This is part of the Flip family, which is one of the oldest styles of cocktails. It's traditionally drunk around Christmas time, um, but a properly made eggnog is actually much lighter than store-bought versions. So I find it a great after dinner treat at any time of the year, to be honest. So we're gonna go with 30 mils of uh, spiced rum. Um, I'm using the gunnery, which is from Adelaide Hills Distillery over in South Australia. It doesn't actually say rum on it. Rum has its own kind of set of rules in each country and in Australia, you have to have, um, it has to be a little bit older before you can actually call it rum, but it's absolutely delicious sugarcane spirit. It's got really strong sort of dark cocoa and coffee notes, which obviously work really well in this cocktail. A lot of the bigger name spice rums would actually be like a little bit overly sweet in here. So I'd stay away from sort of your Sailor Jerry's or Captain Morgan's probably just use um, whatever good quality darker rum you have on hand uh, or something like Chairman's Reserve Spiced Rum has a little bit more balance in there. 30 mils of Ruby Port or a similar dessert wine. If you do prefer a boozier, then you could use brandy instead or just go two full shots of rum. Sticking with the Australian theme, we're going for a little Australian fortified wine here. We like to keep the Australian whiskey industry in barrels. So we're using the Sepplesfield Rich and Rare Apera, which is kind of a PX style sherry. If you don't have something like that, then um, a really cheap and cheerful Ruby Port would be a really good uh, substitute there. So something like Dalva or Nipor or Taylor's. Then we're gonna go 20 mils of sugar syrup. I know it sounds like quite a lot, but um, Dairy does this weird thing where it kind of just sucks up sweetness. So you kind of have to put a little bit more in there than you think. And then 20 mils of cream. In the UK, this would be called double cream. Here, it just seems to be sort of your standard pouring cream. Just something that's got a little bit of thickness to it, but not like a proper kind of whipped cream. And one egg. So we're just gonna pop this all together. Please be careful here. Obviously, if it explodes all over you, that's not gonna be pretty. So just make sure that you're kind of firmly holding both of your shakers together. Rather than kind of doing it out like this, I like to keep it closer to my body and it just gives me a little bit more control because I've seen what can happen if these explode. And then just shake a little bit. And so you'll see at this point, it's actually quite nice and creamy looking. No big chunks of egg or anything like that. And that means it's emulsified. So we can add in some ice. The same sort of CD applies here as it does with just egg whites as to why you dry shake versus, um, versus just kind of popping the ice straight in and shaking straight away. If you do want to see a little bit more on that, then I go into quite a lot of detail in the Whiskey Sour episode, so you should definitely check that out. Pop our tins together. Shake as hard as you can. So we're just gonna use our Hawthorne strainer to hold the ice back in the tin, and then definitely use a fine strainer for this one because you don't want the ice chips ruining that really lovely creamy texture. And then finally, just need a, a micro plane if you have one, um, and then a little nutmeg and give it a grate over the top. If you don't have a microplane and or nutmeg, uh, some sort of dark chocolate powder, or if you have ground cinnamon or like a ground cinnamon and sugar mix, anything in that kind of winter Christmas spice idea works really well. A rum eggnog. So now you know. Pretty excited to dive into this one. So lovely, like I spent a year in Canada and that's kind of where I came uh, came across eggnog because it's not really a thing in the UK. And my friend and I used to just buy the kind of liter cartons of like really thick eggnog and then just have it with rum and not saying that we didn't really enjoy it at the time. 
It's amazing how much actually using a full real egg in here just does to the texture. It's like in a cake, it just makes it really light and fluffy. Um, so as much as this looks quite dense, it actually tastes super easy to drink. And I'm actually kind of struggling to believe that I haven't put anything that's actually chocolatey in there. It's just all coming from this rum. Um, anyone in Australia would definitely recommend to get on it. It's delicious. Yeah, and as I said, obviously just having that little kind of fortified wine note in there just kind of rounds it out, gives it a nice richness and those kind of more um, raisiny and dried fruit flavors. I mean, why would you ever have a dessert? 